Alright guys, how are we doing? And it is great to be back uploading. This time I'm going to be taking a look at a really sweet speaker from eCandy, get it? It has an exceptionally small price tag at $17, but is it actually worth the buy? Let's find out. Audio input. Unboxing was a pretty decent experience. Even though the box was made of cardboard, it had a nice feel to it, and I guess at this price point they had to cut down in costs. Inside the box you are greeted with a charging cable and the speaker itself. So moving on to the actual speaker, it has quite a rugged design with an irregular octagonal shape and a smooth matte black finish. It feels rubberized but it feels more like plastic. On the front you have the speaker grill and bluetooth symbol, which is not stuck very well and can definitely change the aesthetics of the speaker to not looking as good. On top you have four function buttons and the eCandy logo. Flipping over to the bottom we have rubber adhesives which stops the speaker moving on surfaces. This is how much it moves when I try to push it across the surface. The back of the speaker is for connectivity and power. We have a USB port for connecting the speaker to your device, a micro USB slash auxiliary charging port, a TF card for allowing you to import or play music, as well as a power button. The stripe surface also offers a very satisfying texture that feels good in your hand. On to functionality. The speaker has three modes, Bluetooth mode, radio mode and audio input mode. These can be toggled by pressing the M button on the speaker. There are also two volume buttons which have interchangeable functions, either increasing the volume by pressing down or changing the song by pressing it once. The final button, the play button, is pretty self-explanatory. The speaker is charged by a USB to micro USB cable, meaning you have to use a PC unless you plug it into a socket outlet. You know when it's charging when the speaker has a red LED in the corner. One thing that would have been nice in the design is having a battery indicator somewhere on the device, but you can't really complain with how much you are paying unless you have stingy parents. Battery life was a big disappointment, lasting only around 3-4 to four hours, which is a big purchase point when choosing a speaker. Performance of the speaker was not too shabby. LED synchronisation was good, it it lacked levels and didn't really portray as much depth to songs than other speakers like the JBL Pulse. Audio though was even better, really good volume and good mids, with some bass but not too much. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If any of you are interested in the speaker, I'll be leaving a link down below in the description and I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and drop a like down below. I'll see you soon.